Do you want to train your chow chow? In this vlog, I will be sharing with you today mga do's and don'ts kapag nagtitrain ka ng isang chow chow or, or ng inyong dog. So if you want to know more, please keep on watching. Mommy Day. Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Say hi to my dog, Theo. Say hi to everybody. Before anything else, come and of the week, moon atayo. Okay, so this is a comment coming from Ada A. Okay, so she says, Ano po kaya ang ibig sabihin nito kapag yung chow chow hindi nakatali, lagi nasa ilalim ng car na tutulog. Pag nakakulong naman, andun siya sa ilalim ng upuan. Anything na may space sa ilalim at kasha siya. So, thank you Ada for that comment. Usually na experience to ng mga puppy owners kapag medyo mas bata pa yung dog nila. Pero basically, um, they find comfort in those ano, in those spaces. Yun lang naman yun. So, kung nahasailan kayo na syempre pag sailan ng kotse, what if biglang gumandar yung car? Most likely prevent them from staying in that area. To create training as well. Kung napapansin nyo lagi na lang sa ilalim, di na kayo nakapag-interact. Please do create training. I did a vlog about it already. I'll also link it below. Ito na yung mga do's and don'ts pag nagtitrain ka ng dog or ng chow. So without further ado, let's get started. Tip number one, find the best treat for your chow chow or for your dog. Nag obedience school before si Theodore, ang best talaga na motivator before is chicken liver. Now, paano pag sinabi niya sa akin, Mommy ni, um, dinadagdag ko na kasi yun sa food niya. Paano pa yun makapag-motivate sa kanya? So, I suggest natanggalin nyo na muna yun sa diet niya tapos replace it with something else like um, gizzard or um, chicken breast. Tip number two, session should be short and sweet. So, ang key talaga dito is consistency. So, pag paulit-ulit mo siyang kinagawa, mawawire yung brain ng ating dogs with a certain command that you teach them. So, hindi talaga yung paulit, hindi talaga yung longevity. It's more of your frequency. Number three, make sure that when you train, you have a very good energy. When I say good energy, positive ka, medyo nasa mood ka. Hindi yung parang mag-train kayo na galit o parang sit down. Talaga diba, yung mga effective teachers talaga is somebody who are very empathetic and they're very calm, diba? So, you as your trainer, dapat assertive ka but at the same time, kailangan um, positive ka. So, with any kind of improvement, dapat may praise yung dog mo. So, you be mindful when you do these things. Tip number four, encourage but not force. So, marami nagsasabi na, grabe, ang tamad-tamad talaga ng chow-chow ko. Ayaw talagang kumilos at all. Ano bang gagawin ko? Maybe kasi you're forcing too much. Parang, um, it's either you're forcing too much with the wrong energy. So, with the with the past tips or the first things that I mentioned, hopefully talaga, eh, ma-achieve mo yung goal mo. Number six, giving the same treat and food or snack at the same time. Again, mas mamamotivate sila kapag sinestimulate mo yung brain nila and at the same time, binibigay mo yung gusto nilang pagkain. So, never mong pagsasabayin yun. Next tip is, you use the leash um, inside your house. So, ito yung na misconception ng mga tao talaga when it comes to walking your dog, no? Na pinapractice na nila pag nasa labas na yung dog. So, the more mo nga tinatali ang isang bagay, isang tao, eh, mas lalo gustong makawala. Pero kung yung aso, sanay na talaga siya, na-guided siya, maski sa bahay, few minutes every day you walk with the leash, kapag fina-follow ka niya, hindi ka niya tinatag, give that dog a treat. Tip number eight. Okay, yung balik tayo dito sa tamad issues, no? Especially for chow chows. We went, we recently went to Halloween party at yun, nag-costume si Theodore. Pumpkin siya nun. Tapos, we met another chow chow. Um, his name is Bowie. Hi, Bowie! Pwede lang namin, sabi nung owner, na, hey, paano nyo na-akit si Theo? Ano? Kinaragan nyo? Tapos, sagulat ako, sabi ko, bakit naman po? Si Bowie daw, hindi daw talaga umaakit ng stairs. Kasi, ayaw talaga. 
So, paano ba natin yun masasolve during training? So, there. So, ako naman, ang suggestion ko lang is take baby steps. You know, hindi yung parang hindi lang yung magawa today, parang give up ka na. It has to be something na may feeling dog mo that will make you really happy. So, baby steps lang talaga tayo. Pwede, hindi yung pwedeng okit siya agad. What is there to issue nyo? Pwedeng hawakan lang niya yung stairs. That's already a good sign for you to, to praise the dog or give the dog a treat. So, take it one at a time. Okay? Um, aside from that, maybe you're also overfeeding your dog. Kaya kahit anong bigay nyo ng treat, kahit favorite niya, ayaw na niya kainin. So, probably make sure that they are just getting the right amount of food. And then, sometimes nga, if I really want to teach a Theo a very parang hard trick, like for example, speak, yung mga ganyan, usually, um, Pina-fast ko talaga siya. As in, hindi siya kakain ng last meal. Para the next day, super pumped up siya, gutom siya. He will do his best to please you. So, yun. Another tip that you could get. Last but not the least, um, if talagang, talagang, hindi nyo na-carry at kahit lahat na nang sinabi ko, tinry nyo na guys, pero ayaw pa rin talaga, it is best to seek help. So, how? There are lots of obedience schools and training schools out there that is perfect for your chow-chow and your dog. Uh, maraming mga available online. So, yun. Or have a personal trainer that you pay per hour. Ang thing kasi for me is investment siya in a sense na well, kapag, kapag well-behaved yung dog mo at nakakapag-interact yung dog mo, is it a good feeling na you're nurturing your, your pet? Kasi talaga, to be honest, kapag hindi mo siya na-train properly at nakakagat siya ng isang tao, most of the time, di ba, sinisisi natin talaga yung breed ng dog. Pero, uh, minsan talaga lack of training talaga sa aso natin. It is best na talagang seek for professional help pag hindi mo na talaga ma-handle yung dog mo. So, there you have it, guys. Hopefully, may natutunan na naman kayo kay Mommy Ne. If you're not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or personal concerns, please do email me at honeymomph at gmail.com So, I'll see you again on my next step. Bye!